beautiful people and good morning from here in Torlotti again we've just ordered breakfast Hannah's has come already we've getting waffles how is it <laughs> we're getting waffles in the same place that we ate at last night which was incredible and look this setting just feels so Greek and so amazing look at this The car's locked up. Now we're on our way down into Mochlos. Mochlos. Ancient Mochlos is just ahead of us. It's this island here, but it used to be used to be attached. I think it used to be attached. Basically, our theory is because it looks a lot shallower between here and Mochlos, ancient Mochlos. Like this bit here, the sea is a lot lighter. It looks as though it used to be part of the mainland. It makes sense, I guess. Looks nice. stopped in a pretty perfect location to have a cheeky drink if you look up here just up here you can't quite see on the vlog but like right there that's the village that we were staying in that's how far we've driven today it's probably only about 15 kilometers or something but you get a sense of just how remote that village is and just how in the mountains it is it's just up here Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place and I think we could have definitely spent longer here but for now good vibes. very good vibes. For now we're heading off to Palacastro where Hannah really needs to go and visit. Yeah. 
go see a thing. And I think we're gonna time lapse the whole way if we can, or time lapse at least some of it, because the roads around here and the views are just insane. Salad, baby. Oh, yeah. How are you feeling, Hannah? Um, slightly confused. So, just behind me here, we've got the settlement. Hannah's confused because she's surprised that you're able to just walk up and basically walk all over it if you fancy and I think and I think it's a little smaller than Hannah was expecting as well okay, would so that be right that yeah only this tiny bit oh that's why it seems smaller it's massive right that would make more sense so this bit here is that all is all of this that we can see yeah and then what's with the rest of it so all of this is reburied Reburied. Don't tell me that the good old days are over With two hearts running wild On and on we'll move a little closer We don't have to burn out in the fire No, we don't have to burn out in the fire How do this? So can you explain why it feels so wrong to be doing this, Hannah? Archaeological site, like you could quite easily just come and destroy this. Like, to get into any other archaeological site, you have to like pay and then it's like really regulated. Here, you just wander through. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no one pottery that you can just pick up. I mean, this is basic cooking ware. So, Hannah, what was Palacastro used for? Harbour town on the east of Crete. I'm learning as much as you guys here, by the way, right now. <laughs> so the east of Crete is quite different to the rest of it because it's separated by a geographical um, boundary by the mountain range. So what happens here is quite different to like the main hubs of Festos, Malia, and Knossos back in central Crete. East Crete just completely disappears from all the archives of the like Knossos because they have big tablets. It just completely disappears, and no one really knows why. But this place grows. This is the only Minoan harbour we have. It has really good trade links because down there is Libya. Over there is Cyprus and the Levant. And up there is the Cyclades. And it's a really good harbour. And it's quite windy here, which is especially good for sails and sailing, which gives them really good trade links. And a chance to develop contacts. It basically, they expanded way more than the rest of Crete did, I guess. <laughs> But no one really knows what happens here. There's no like writing or any, any kind of evidence here. They don't have any archives, like at Knossos, Malia, etc. You have the clay tablet archives, linear B, but you don't have any of that here. So Hannah's baffled because not only can we just walk along it, but there's not even a sign that says like, please don't touch or destroy. Please don't destroy, please tread with care. And then on top of that, we've just got these pieces of pottery and artifacts just all over the floor. I think actually this probably isn't far off the like great pyramids and things. And the idea that you can just walk through this and this place would almost certainly have been in contact with like the kingdom of ancient Egypt. Like there's a huge evidence of trade between the two. And there's a huge evidence of between like stylistic interaction between them. You can just walk through this, but you'd never be allowed to do this in Egypt, ever. You should know. You should know. You're so beautiful. So let me know. Just what you're waiting for. 
Well, we certainly had a lot of stuff to bring back on the scooter that we just swapped the car for. We kind of didn't think it through. We had to have the car back. We only just got the car back in time and then had to scoot back with, with this bag, this bag, these bags, and the, protein bag. the protein bag, that bag. But we got it back all right. It felt like we were in Asia carrying loads of stuff on a scooter. But we're super tired now having just done the two and a half hour drive back and then the little scooter ride too. So we're gonna finish this one up here. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. That feels, feels good around here.